Now, on a sandbag front squat, it does make life a lot easier if you've got a bench or something to prop your sandbag up on, because otherwise you're limited by what you can kind of bear hug off the ground without hurting your back, which is not a great way to start yourself. Whereas if you've got a bench, you can start off with your bag mostly elevated, and then you can put more weight in it because you can start from a more upright position. So, for our sandbag front squats, here's what we're going to do. All right, you step up to your bag, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your squat position as is, all right, with your feet shoulder width apart, toes basically straight. You might have to turn them slightly out if you're, you know, more comfortable like that. That depends on your body's mechanics, all right? You're going to bend down, you're going to hug your sandbag, and you're going to stand up. You might want to take a step back or two from your bench, and then from there, it's like a regular front squat. All you're going to do is keep your weight on your heels, keep your body upright, engage that core. You're going to squat down and come back up again, all right? Don't let your knees track inwards. Don't let them wobble around as much as you can, all right? Just down from the side, same deal, all right? Bend down, grab onto that bag, and here we go. You're going to step back and find your spot. Keep your weight on your heels. Notice my back is straight. My core is engaged. I squat down and squat back up again. 